When we need to consider shoulder stability, the first thing we want to really think about is shoulder mobility. We want to make sure the shoulder can work through its full range of motion without pain or in a pain-free way. So I like to move the shoulder through its, its planes. They're, the shoulder is pretty complex. It's that ball and socket joint so that we have a really good range of motion. So we need to practice that. We need to take it through its full range of motion to maintain that as we get older. And then certainly um, then later we'll talk about stabilizing that shoulder joint once we have good mobility. So the first thing I like to do is get your arms overhead. Our arms were meant to be able to reach overhead and if you can't, um, hopefully you can practice it and eventually improve that range of motion. But I like to just start with what I call a sun breath that I borrow from yoga and extend the arms out to the side and overhead in, in line with your body and even look up and watch your hands reach up and that should be pain free. But let's practice that about 10 times to really get the blood flowing into the shoulder joint, into the lats and improve the mobility in this plane. So I call this a sun breath, adding some neck movement with it where we gaze up and gaze down. So you can do that 10 times. And then we're gonna work in the plane uh, to open our chest and our upper back muscles. And I just call this a pec opener and back opener, bringing the elbows as far apart as you can in, with your elbows, ideally in shoulder high, and then bringing your elbows as close together as possible in front to help open up the shoulder blades and back and, and get those muscles, the traps, and then the pecs moving because then we're going to strengthen them later. Um, and the third range of motion is really going to take it through its full range of motion and you can use different tools to do this. I happen to use um, just a basic TheraBand with a lot of people. You could use a, a golf club, a rope, a long belt, a long scarf or something, but we want to get our arms extended out from the shoulders and long, let's try to keep them long. And as if we keep the arms long, that's gonna take the shoulder through its full range of motion. And we just reach out and over, reaching away from the shoulder joint and back as far as you can in that pain-free range. So at some point, if there's pain or limitation, stop there, don't go into pain. And but eventually, if you keep practicing it and, and then um, continue to work on your mobility, it's going to improve and you'll be able to utilize that shoulder joint in its full range of motion. So there's uh, three movements that you can do very simply every day, probably maybe when you get up in the morning, if you're working at a desk on a computer, um, or even at the end of the day to help increase and then maintain the mobility at your shoulder joint.